Normal map is a combination of colors which represents X, Y, Z for imitating geometry. Heights map actually does the same job, but instead it is in grayscale. Both types belong to a general term, bump map. They both describe heights of the original geometry. Normal maps are usually created from a high poly surface via baking. Height maps are normally painted or generated with a random grayscale texture. Normal maps can be painted as well. In fact, you can post-process your normal maps by painting over or simply copying and pasting some of its parts. There are actually different techniques of creating normal and height maps, but generally they are pretty much common. Sometimes it is easier to sculpt rather than paint the geometry and vice versa. Eventually, we can combine two maps into one normal map. In this part, we paint some crevices which are actually hard to sculpt because they are tiny. Create a new image node and name it. Connect it to base color. Go to texture paint. We are going to paint in look dev mode with overlays off. Our brush needs a texture. For this task, a standard texture will do. Select Stencil for mapping. This is my favorite setting for texturing. The white parts will be the crevices. After we're finished, we will invert the black and white because the crevices are actually darker parts of the height map. Add Invert node and add Bump. Connect Invert to Height. This combination is actually the Bump map, which can be baked as a normal map. Most of the time, it makes sense to adjust the number and strength of the cavities as they draw too much attention and give away too many details. We can do that with using color ramp. Blender's got great HDRs to observe the details in different lighting. However, sometimes it's reasonable to try your own HDR for which you can use any picture, but you have to adjust it as well. Select World and add Environment Texture. Adjust the brightness with a color ramp. Always remember to save your textures. Alright, see you in the next part.